This Halloween, ah, but Halloween, 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 Halloween. If you got the clothes, and if you can pull off the wings, why not try it? Are you ready to celebrate Halloween? It's going to be a fun year. There's going to be Zoom parties, there's going to be dressing up, there's going to be loads of fun different things going on. But that being said, it's going to be different. We're not going to be able to go out like we usually are and have the parties that we usually would. This year, Halloween's going to be different for some folk. However guys, I'm going to let you in on a wee secret. It's not going to be any different for me. I've never celebrated Halloween. Not once. Not ever. I've never been trick or treating. However, I did dress up in a fancy dress on that night. I used to stick on a big robe and then I would stick a little plastic toy hippo on my shoulder. Who the heck was I dressing up as? Well, I was dressing up as one of my favourite saints, Saint Augustine of Hippo. You may think that dressing up as a saint is pretty random. I'm here to tell you guys, it's not that weird. See, Halloween really stands for All Hallows Eve. This is a Catholic celebration, which goes back 1300 years. On this day, we remember the saints in heaven. You may as well call it the evening of all the saints in heaven. Back in the day, before Halloween became a day for dressing up as ghosts, we Catholics celebrated it in quite a similar way. We would gather with our friends and family and we would eat nice treats like nuts and apples. Perhaps that's why you might get nuts on trick-or-treating duty today. I don't know, I've not been. That is a terrible joke. Also, back in the day, people would go begging for this thing called a soul cake off their neighbours. They wouldn't buy it with money, but they would offer something else. They would offer to pray for the souls of the dead loved ones of the family. Does, does this sound familiar? I mean, it should, because it's trick-or-cheating 101. We Catholics did celebrate Halloween. We did have fun, but we kept it rooted in prayer. So, now you may be wondering, how can we celebrate Halloween? Perhaps instead of dressing up in a pointy hat or as a glow-in-the-dark skeleton, you could maybe dress up as a saint. This is more fun than it sounds. I remember one time when I was young, my cousin, I'm not going to say her name, but uh, she dressed up. She uh, tied a bandage around her eyes. Then she walked around with this plate and on the plate had two like marshmallow eyeballs. Now, who the heck was she trying to be? Well, she was trying to be Saint Lucy. Saint Lucy was famous for having her eyes taken out because she practiced her faith. Another time, I saw a friend of mine cutting about, dressed as Saint Francis of Assisi. He had a bird on his shoulder, a long brown cloak, and two red holes painted on his hands. I had a bit of fun today myself. In case you haven't watched any of these before, this isn't my usual get up. I'm no usually got it wings on, like I promise. But I thought today I'd sign up as a different sort of saint. Saint Michael the Archangel. He is awesome and if you don't know about him, check him out. But I just thought, if you got the clothes and if you can pull off the wings, why not try it? In addition to imitating our favourite saints or saints that you may have heard of, why don't we root this day in prayer? Why don't we pray the litany of the saints? Or even we can read about the saints. We can read about the saints in the Bible or we can find there's many, many books about the lives of the saints as well. This Halloween, let's celebrate it. Let's have fun. Let's eat all the chocolate and candy. Let's have fun with our friends. But let's also root the day in prayer. Get creative. I want to see all your favorite saints in costumes. Finally, Let's be truly encouraged by the saints, because you never know. One day, someone might be dressing up as you for All Hallows Eve. Happy Halloween, everyone, and God bless you.